citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. Jeff Kanata is away on assignment and will be back on Thursday. So let's hit the headlines. A filmmaker is giving us a glimpse into a potential augmented reality nightmare with his most recent short film. Keiichi Matsuda's short film Hyper Reality is a day in the life of a young woman named Juliana. The short film is set in a future where augmented and mixed reality is everywhere, from gamifying life to interactive apps to advertisements. It's a much darker look at the possibilities of augmented reality, even though it's a colorful short film, but it's also not that far-fetched when you think about how technology has been used thus far. I won't spoil the ending, but you should definitely take seven minutes to watch it. Then ask yourself, we all love Magic Leap and HoloLens when it's in its purest forms. But what happens when technology like this is used by everyone, everywhere? It's slightly creepy. Uh, Doctor Who fans, if you're out there, which I know you are, you might love this sonic screwdriver. Before we all get too excited, it's not exactly like the Doctor's beautifully designed tool, but this is kind of neat. This is Gauntlev, a wearable made to trap and manipulate levitating objects using acoustics. The University of Bristol in England is responsible for the project, creating a variety of handheld devices that can be used to pick up small objects without touching them and then rotate or move them as needed. This project could help in handling dangerous materials in the future or even be used to move small doses of medication or tools to target locations inside your body. Which is really science fiction-y stuff and one that I would imagine the doctor himself would be interested in. Uh, if you guys want to use the hashtag HeyTD and talk about our headlines, you're more than welcome to. Since I'm the only one here this week until Thursday, I get to pick what story we deep dive into and I am going to pick Hyper Reality because I think there's a lot to dig into here. It's a seven minute short film, but really it begs a lot of conversation. It's super thought provoking and I think Jeff will have a lot to say about it. And I hope you will too. So use that hashtag hey TD and tell us what you think of hyper reality and if you think it's a possibility with that being said that's our headlines let's check out our phone talker for the day our phone talker for of the day today is Matthew who took this picture on his Galaxy S4 he writes into the show and says hey Ashley Jeff and everyone else when I think of spring I think of the cherry blossoms on the National Mall in Washington DC however D.C. isn't the only place where cherry blossoms exist. Here's a photo of the road that leads to my office in suburban Maryland during peak blossom. I took this photo on my Samsung Galaxy S4. You have my full permission to use this for your show. Keep up the good work. First of all, Matthew, what a gorgeous drive you have to work. I mean, that looks amazing. And I can imagine even in other seasons, it looks equally incredible. So nice work on the photo. If you guys want to send in your picture, you can. Just email it to tomorrow at CNET.com and do all the things Matthew did, which is tell us, uh, tell us what device you took your picture with. Tell us a story about your picture. Give us permission to use it on the show. And if your name is remotely difficult to pronounce, tell us how to pronounce it. Uh, that is it for today's show. If you'd like to share it with somebody, send them over to TomorrowDaily.com. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fact meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye.